thank you, thank you, thank you so much, thank you. Really appreciate that. I really enjoy giving you the music. Music is a great healer. It's a great way to just chill and relax and forget about the day and remember the day and remember that Raul is being a wonderful cameraman and I went stood up out of the picture, but that's okay. Here we go, Raul. Yay, we're coordinated. Okay. So now let me get to my guest because this is rolling right along really fast. Oh, we need to put up my name and my number. I don't think we've done that the whole show. That's okay. We're going to get my name. Of course, all of you know who I am already. Rodney Brown, your host, your producer, your director of It's All About Me TV. Raul, can we get a uh, shot that's a little less headroom, please? And um, I have Raul running all around. Hey, I couldn't do it with all my help. I have Raul Alonso Evans on my camera in the control room, in the studio here, excuse me, helping me out. I have Kurt Evans in the control room. I have Yvette Sotelo in the control room. Roll, can we get more of like a, a full body shot kind of thing? There you go. There you go. Good. Good, good, good. Okay, now, everything's great. I want to let you know, like I was telling Sarah Angel, I'm really thinking about taking me TV to the streets. In fact, I'm going to do it. I'm going to step out on this tangent. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start bringing you me TV every other week live. Instead of weekly live, I'm going every other week live. So that means next week you're going to get the first, actually the second taped version, because last week was a taped version. And I'm going to do more of the man on the street, taking me TV to the street, because me TV is all about me, your host, your producer, your director, Rodney Brown. Me TV is all about my crew. Me TV is all about you. Me TV is all about someone I met on the street. He's an actor. You don't have to be an Academy Award winner or an Emmy Award winner to be on the show. Who says that's the be all and end all anyway? This is an actor that he just saw me with my equipment on the street. He saw me with my tripod, with my pack, ready to go to an event to shoot some video. And he talked to me and he was curious. He asked me, what are you up to? What's going on? And I told him I'm the director, producer, host of a show entitled It's All About Me TV. And he told me he's an actor. Um, he's dealing with different issues. But nonetheless, he's an actor and he wants exposure. And I told him, hey, you come get on my me tv camera you're in la you need to be in front of a camera if you're an actor so come on my show and he's on my show his name's john emerson let's give john emerson a great big round of applause he just pops hey. up from nowhere hey. all right hey i'm doing great john hey. how are you oh, i put an elevator that's a weird place to put an elevator yeah you just kind of yeah. Zoomed on up there. Yes. Which floor are we on? Uh, we're on 13. <laughs> oh, we're right now? Yeah. There you go. 13, the lucky number. Yes. Okay, so now let's talk to me. John Emerson, I met you on the street, walking down the street, and oh. you wanted to be on my show, and I said, hey, why not? Come on sure. and be on my show. It's a Love great way to be exposed. Yes, it because is. Because you have, have you been working lately? Or tell us, tell us about you. Tell uh, us about you. I haven't been working at all. Okay. Uh, I haven't been working at all. I, I've been uh, just trying to survive. It's been rough in L.A. Okay. And uh, But I'm having a great time here. And I'm having a great time on your show, on MeTV. That's right. That's right. Well, tell us, you know, sure, L.A. is, you have to really stay focused in L.A. Yes. And you have to be willing to work. Yes. Yes. You well, know? And um, there's just, I mean, it's a spread out place. It takes forever to get from here to mm -hmm. there. There's mm -hmm. traffic. There's... There's auditions, there's rejection, there's yes, acceptance, there's, there's oh, all kinds of stuff. So what are you doing to handle all of this? You had mentioned that, you know, things are kind of rough well, right Well, I got my headshots out there. I got my headshots and resume out there and putting them out to producers and directors. And I'm currently looking for a management company to manage me. Okay. Uh, I'm a Screen Actors Guild member. Okay. And, uh, you know, I, I came from New Jersey. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm only here about three and a half years. Uh, from New Jersey. Okay. And okay. Uh, I came out as a professional bull rider. Oh, wow. Interesting. Yeah. Very interesting. Yeah, I, I spent a little time in Kansas. Okay. I spent some time in the Midwest about and three and a half years. Not in Kansas anymore. Not in Kansas <laughs> anymore. Okay. So, tell and, us uh, more. Well, I'm just uh, trying to look for an, an agent right now. Okay, okay. Well, I thought it would be great to get you on my cameras, the MeTV cameras, because, you know, I took a look at you, and I think I'm a pretty good judge of, I know I'm a great judge of character. Let me move my stool out of the way. But I'm a great judge of character, and it wasn't so much your character that, <clears throat> although I do check that out, but I also checked out your 
persona, I guess you'd call it, mm -hmm. because to me, you look like what an actor is made of. Mm -hmm. You have the statue, you're, you look about like you're the perfect height, mm -hmm. um, your eyes are very expressive, and um, I see big things for you. I, I feel very, very great things for me. Last thing I did was um, Flags of Our Fathers with Clint Eastwood. Okay. I was in that. I had about 15 second featured part background as a wounded lieutenant colonel. Okay. We can look at the camera a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So keep talking. And uh, I've worked with a lot of people in Hollywood. Uh, I've been on West Wing. I've been featured on Desperate Housewives. Uh, well, let me, um, okay, in the meantime, we're, I want them to put our number back up, uh, John, because I do, I forgot to mention this. We have a reoccurring musical guest uh -huh. besides myself. Right. Her name's Jessica Burks, okay. okay? She's on here about once a month, and she plays around town, all right? She, her next show is October 2nd at the Whiskey on Sunset. Great. So that's Tuesday night at 8 p.m. We have two tickets to give away to a lucky viewer, okay? That's great. Isn't that great? Now, yeah. while me and John are chit-chatting and everything, if you know the reoccurring theme to Me TV, oh, excuse me, the, the inspiration. There's this inspiration, okay? Really? Yes, and I even mentioned it to you on our way over here. You may not remember, but if you remember, shh, because it's for the audience to call in. But there's, a, there's something that really inspires me and one of my callers one time called out of the blue and said the same thing inspires him. Really? Okay? Wow. So it's a subject matter uh -huh. that inspires <clears throat> us here at MeTV. If you know what it is, call and you will win two free tickets to see Jessica Burks at the Whiskey next Tuesday at 8 p.m. That is the inspiration behind MeTV. And I'll give you a little hint because we even mentioned the fact that we're not in Kansas anymore. Right. That has something to do with it. But let's go uh, on and let's see if anybody calls in. If you want to call in and ask me a question, if you want to ask John a question, uh, you're free to do that too. But in the meantime, let's keep talking. Uh, and I want you to talk because I'm going to get my artwork because there's an um, art gallery show coming up where okay. I'm going to have some of my artwork at. So I'm going to be grabbing that while you're talking and then hopefully a call will come in and they will win the tickets to the show at the yep. Whiskey. At the, the Whiskey, the Tuesday. Show. Tuesday, next Tuesday, October yes. 2nd. Someone call in, you're gonna get a good show. So, right. uh, and we'll see if you know the answer. Now, you keep talking. All right, well, I, I, I don't mean to be heartbreak, I, but I, I mentioned that I'm here in California three years, okay. but I, I'm really traditionally playing the starving acting role, and I'm, I'm unemployed looking for my big break, which I know will come soon, but I'm also homeless. Okay, right, you had mentioned that to me when I was, I was waiting for the bus and you would walk him by, yeah, and we yeah. started talking, go yeah, ahead. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, staying in a, a uh, abandoned warehouse, it's uh, pretty sad. I, sh I, should, I should start taking the violin and playing it. Oh, but. Yeah, no, it's okay, it's, he, look, but. we all have issues, we yeah. all have issues. I'm very impressed that you were able to make it to my show. I'm like, I mean, it sounds really so sad and heartbreaking to me. Oh, uh, it's uh, trying. But I'm, Rose playing director over there, and it's a little distracting. I'm the host producer director. I think I've done about, I don't know, how many times. I understand, Ro, he wants us to look at the camera. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay? But we're having a conversation, and, you know, I 